hi and welcome back to the third part of this tutorial now I just need to carry out a bit of modification okay to these very buttons so let's come in here and make sure all of the buttons are selected right there then we we'll come straight to where it says border border width let's change the width to 4 and what about the border color I'm going to change that to gray just like the other ones I have up there and now the border color itself let's change that to something a little bit darker so if I run it this is how my system looks like I think I like it like that okay now that we have taken care of all of this we're now going to declare some variables or let's say arrays to take care of the calculations now end the program okay there now let's go back to design view right here The next thing we want to do is make sure this is selected total. Yeah. Let's come to the event and click on that. Right inside the event, if you guys can still recall this variable that was declared before, right up here, option explicit, that's supposed to be for the tags. Okay, now let's declare the following dim. Let's just say items or C C for car C as 12 okay that's an array I make that double right for this array I'm going to now assign as follows the first array is always a zero so that's a zero that right there and for array zero I will now assign as follows I think the first value that is supposed to be modified modified that's the very first value dot text so whatever is in there is assigned it's assigned to C I think that might cause an error let's get rid of that then the other one is C C1 equals stereo C2 as equals let's say let's see I need to actually see this shall I just go for customize for us C3 C4 equals think GPS no that's it's not G it's not called GPS it's called global positioning yeah there we go So that means I'm going to have to I'm going to have to change most of those names in there. Okay, C4 equals this. Right. And this is customized details. I can remember that. Why this is called later interior. That's a underscore stereo system. Okay, now those are supposed to be the car accessories. Now the next one is let's go for C5. C5 is supposed to be, that is supposed to be this. Okay, there we go. 
cost of car cost of a car equals cost of a car okay look at it right here you yeah just copy that and paste it there cost of a car there the other one is c c6 equals no it's called car underscore mileage now I say C7 equals we now add all of these together every single accessory we have in here equals C0 plus C1 plus C2 So this one is one, two, three, and four. Okay, C5, that is the car. C6 is whatever discount you get. So that means we have to deduct. There's going to be deduction here right that is c6 now array c8 will become c7 we multiply that by tax rate divide that by 100 to get the tax Now we now need to assign this into the tax. So that will become tax equals C8. Now the next thing, let's work out subtotal. Subtotal. Uh, subtotal actually is just C. 7 c7 y total equals c7 plus c8 yeah i think that's all that's it so let's save let's run it and see okay the car you want is Bugatti and I'm trading in my old car between 1001 and 10,000 miles so I should be able to get some refund so let's come in here I want it modified I want all of those accessories on my new car if I click on total, all right, let's see what is the problem. This variable is now declared. Let's see what's the name of subtotal. Oh, there's a space, so that must be called sub underscore total. Okay, let's come back to. We need to exit first. Come back in here, right click design view codes exit that okay right here I'm sure is underscore right there so let's verify that anyway yeah that is correct it's an underscore save come back in there let's try it one more time modify Stereo, customize, interior decoration, and so on. And this is the car we're buying. 
to let's say it's a Lambo Lamborghini and here that is what we're going for now click right there okay now for the receipt it's either I delete this and move this one in there okay so let's go into into the design okay what I'm going to do is I will use this to confirm if a receipt is issued or not so let's come in here I'll just click on yeah so right underneath here we have all of the calculation I'm going to enter receipt equals yes okay now as for this object there so that's t okay t uh, txt receipt so let's come right in here okay let's go into yeah select that and we enter as follows for the receipt show you guys what I meant by that okay I'll just enter just the tax subtotal and so on you guys can always you can add more if you want to so if I compile and run there's something that I let's see okay I ought to be able to clear out everything that I have in here so let's go back into the system and just we we'll take care of that first so let's go straight into form load right there let's come straight into form load where is that form load here yeah. and that means I have to clear everything mileage should be cleared and tax equals zero as well subtotal equals zero total equals zero let's say txt reset equals clear when the system starts and what else do I need to clear I think I should clear receipt itself if there's anything there that should be cleared okay all right let me give this a try this is form load function form load so let's go back in there save let's see okay everything is cleared so that is fine and I need to change this let's change this and let's just look for it select that label what should be the caption so we can just I can just get rid of that doesn't have to have anything okay if I run it yeah that's fine maybe come back in there and design okay let's just enter sales output right and increase increase it to about 18 or 20 whatever yeah maybe 20 20 is fine and the color let's change the font color to black right now come right down here and just Okay, 
so that is fine I think that might be all for this tutorial so let's run it and see let's go home click on that minimize this right there okay all right then enter the customer's name let's say that's me address so John Blue Road. Number five John Blue Road. And whatever that is a postcode telephone number. Okay, I want all of the following on my or in my car. I want all everything and I'm trading in my old car the car I want now is a Lamborghini and the car I'm trading in has the following mileage okay so all I just need to then do is click on total and there there we go guys right so with that guys I'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial I suppose you guys enjoyed so you all have a nice day now and bye for now.